Ready, go. Hi, my name is Maya, and I want to be a paleontologist on the first half of the day, and a marine biologist on the second half of the day when I grow up, because I want to learn, because I want to learn about prehistoric life and how the dinosaurs died and stuff like that, and I want to learn the mysteries of the sea. So that's what I like about those two things, and I like crystal zoology. But I don't have room for one more. But I don't think I have room for one more. And I think that the Loch Ness monsters that look like plesiosaurs are deadly from plesiosaurs. They're like fish more plesiosaurs. That's what I think. Oof. And I really like stuff like that. And, um, I, uh, and paleontology is cool. So I can learn about prehistoric life. I know about all kinds of stuff. Like I know dolphins use actual location. And there used to be a prehistoric mammal the size of a cat in the world. And it was the largest species. The largest species the size of a cat. I read that online. And and there's stuff and there's other stuff like under zoology that you might like to check out.
I'm in my backyard. It's swimming. I just punched my head on. I just recently put my head under the water since I haven't. Since I've been scared to do that ever. You can probably see since I'm all wet. And this is my goggles here, which and has a nose breather. You put them on like this. That's how you. And this is how you put on. They're on the surface. That's how you put on goggles. And these so your face. This so your uh. I said those won't get wet. And, um, this is your snorkel, which, it sticks up the water so you can still race. I don't know how I look with both of them on, and the goggles are my own nose. Here it is. Here it is. And I gotta be talking right now for the snorkel. You can see. And you can see how it heals. This is going to talk like honey, honey right now. And it's sort of hard to breathe with the with the goggles over your nose. It's a bit hard to do that. And um, here's my new top I just got a couple minutes ago. And my fr and my friend Wyatt, he can dive under there and like swim under there. It's not pretty cool. I'm gonna do that too. And there's my pool over there in the back. Here's my float with, our, with me and my sister's float. Uh, my my pink. And if you want to see me dot, put my head under there. Here I go. my nose. <coughs> oh. And I did that. And that was pretty cool. If you can, if you got a ball in a circle, you can try diving in your pool too. Um, Bye. Yeah, See you me next time. I know if you crowd me like sitting down. <laughs>
And if you're not, if you get any mossies on you, moss could just about grow on you. So better be careful. Here's a little warning. Here's a little tip that we have on this site about warning whenever you're uh, near the water when it's the afternoon. Mosquito bites. The mosquitoes are really nice here in water, so watch out at night. When they bite you, they'll like cause you to have a big red itchy lump. I got one a couple of weeks ago on and my I back. And I got a whole bunch of them. Hey! It's probably gone by now. I think I might have just got one of the legs. <laughs> and are you, and whenever you feel a red, in order to lump and really a tea, you probably got bit by a mosquito. Mosquitoes only females stuck to your blood cause of spikes. Males stay going flowers. And me and my mom are getting all bit up by them. So I think it's time to run Please. for it. Bye! <laughs> Like a long pounds or something. She sort of like a mini <coughs> leopard. She's pretty heavy. I am. Now we just probably try to get it. He's <laughs> practically smiling. And one time when I was uh holding Penny, my grandpa's dog, she actually smiled like this. She did. She smiled. When I, when I was actually in the chair with her in my lap. This cat is pretty heavy. Okay.